Hello everyone, welcome back again to this channel. Myself, Salim Mulla, and today we are going to learn about how to calculate the stresses in composite parts when it is in series. First, read the example carefully which is asked in the university exam for 6 marks in November 2014. A composite member made of steel bar, 60 mm diameter and 600 mm length. Now the steel bar is given having diameter 60 mm and 600 mm length. An aluminum bar, 30 mm diameter and 300 mm length is held between two supports as shown in figure. The composite member is stress free at a temperature 38 degrees centigrade. What will be the stress in the two materials? when temperature is 21 degree centigrade. Now the initial temperature is given 38 degree centigrade and uh, stresses are, uh, they are asking about the stresses when the temperature is 21 degree centigrade. Assume supports are unyielding. Now the both supports are fixed. Take ES is equal to 210 GPA. That is the modulus of elasticity for steel. 210 GPA given. Again, same for aluminum is given 75 GPA. Again, alpha S is given that is the coefficient of thermal expansion 11.7 into 10 raise to minus 6 per degree centigrade and for aluminum is also given 23.4 into 10 raise to minus 6 per degree centigrade. Let us see how to calculate such a type of the problem in detail. So whatever the data is given just put it down like this. Now steel bar 60 mm diameter, aluminum 30 mm diameter and both are fixed in the nature. Now whatever the data is given, noted loud like this. Now the diameter of the steel bar is given 60 mm, aluminum 30 mm, length of steel 600 mm, length of aluminum 300 mm, ES that is the modulus of elasticity for steel is given 210 GPA, convert it into MPA that is in Newton per mm square. Just multiply 10 raise to 3. Modulus of elasticity of aluminum is given 74 GPA, 74 into 10 raise to 3 Newton per mm square. Now, the coefficient of expansion that is the thermal expansion for steel is given 11.7 into 10 raise to minus 6 per degree centigrade and for aluminum 23.4 into 10 raise to 6 minus 6 per degree centigrade is given in the problem. Now one more thing is given in the problem uh, 38 degree centigrade temperature that is the initial temperature is given 38 degree centigrade and final temperature is also given in the problem that is the 21 degree centigrade. If I consider T1 if I consider the T1 as the initial temperature that is the 38 degree centigrade and T2 that is the temperature is going to down okay then 21 degree centigrade therefore then I will convert it into the temperature change or decrease in temperature temperature change if I consider T, then T1 minus T2. Now T1 is 38 degree which is given and T2 is 21 degree. Therefore, the temperature becomes 70 degree centigrade. Okay. Now, this is the temperature change. Okay. Then they are asking about what are, what will be the stresses? What will be the stresses? Uh, developed in the steel and aluminium bar for this temperature okay 38 degree initial and after changing 21 degree centigrade that means the total temperature change 17 degree centigrade and which is decrease so in this case diameter of both bars are given with the help of diameters we can calculate the area of steel like this area of steel pi by 4 60 square okay and with the help of diameter of aluminium we can calculate the area of aluminium bar like this okay now the area of steel becomes 2827.43 mm square and area of aluminium bar 706.43 85 mm square okay now area of steel is an area of aluminum is we got it by using the formula now for stresses for stresses we need to determine first the force exerted by now listen carefully now both ends of these bars are fixed so the stresses and the force exerted by 
after changing force exerted by these materials will be the same in this direction now here the change temperature is decreasing that means the both the members will going to contract to resist that bars okay then therefore these forces will develop that means the force will develop in this direction okay now contraction then ends fixed end becomes fixed end try to exert this force like this in tensile nature now what will happen now this force both side force is the same so this force we can find by using the formula okay like this p that is t temperature change then the formula becomes like this ls alpha s plus lal alpha al divided by divided by ls as as es plus lal al into eal by using this formula we can directly find out the value of force okay so put all the values given in the problem like this now the t is here 17 degree use this value 17 ls alpha s ls alpha s plus al la al which are all the values are given just put out in the problem put it now now ls ls is given 600 multiply by alpha s is given in the problem like 11.7 into 10 raised to minus 6 plus l a l is given 300 and 23 point 23 point 4 into 10 raised to minus 6. okay divided by divided by ls that is ls means 600 divided by as area of steel we have found it here 2827.43 into es es is given es is given 210 into 10 raised to 3 plus 300 divided by 300 divided by what is e a a l 706.85 into 74 into 10 days to 3 okay using the calculator and find out all this value okay so the value of p becomes at the end you will get the answer like this 35384 new ton okay you can convert this value in kilo newton just multiply the this value into 10 to -3 you will get this value in kilo newton okay this is the force exerted by the fixed end support okay but we need to determine the stresses in steel and stress in aluminium so if i consider the sigma s is the stress in steel then the stress is equal to load upon area that is force upon area then i will use this value p upon area of steel okay just to use this value i will get 84.21 use value in newton okay divided by area of steel you, we know area of steel 2827.43 we will get the value of stress in steel 12.51 newton per mm square okay now as now this value stress in steel now compare these two values okay we need to write there the nature of the stress now as compared to aluminium as compared to aluminium expansion coefficient of thermal expansion is lower than the coefficient of coefficient of thermal expansion for steel 
is lower than the coefficient of thermal expansion for aluminium so this material still will be in the tensile nature okay will be in tensile nature okay now if i consider sigma al is the stress in aluminium bar then the value of this value we can calculate by using this formula p upon area of steel then p is 35384.21 divided by area of aluminium is 706.85 and the value of stress in steel stress in aluminium becomes 50.06 50.06 newton per mm square okay now as compared to the coefficient of expansion or contraction for steel coefficient of contraction for aluminium is higher so the material aluminium will, will get in compressive so nature of aluminium bar stress in aluminium bar is compressive okay so in this way we can calculate the stresses in bars by using this by using this formula okay thank you